Yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll discuss if we can play tomorrow after. We'll figure it out. What did you want to play? Well, just continuing Budokai. Oh yes, we can do that. We can do a lot. Monkey Ball, Budokai, I don't know. Anyways. I'm down. It started, so. by the way. Oh shit, alright, we're fucking live. Oh god, oh, yes. damn! <laughs> you caught me talking about playing games with my my brother here from another mother. Oh um, yes. Alright guys, this is the Bottom Dweller Podcast. It is brought to you by... <laughs> Pro Bass Shops. It's my it's my butcher version of version of uh, Bass Pro Shops. And there's a meme that we've shared, and it's like where there's a, there's a fish, and it's like a Bass Pro Shops fish on a shirt, and it says, "Of course I I come fast. I got oh, fish to catch." Oh no! That's the all. See, I've just put you in for a little bit of a taste of what you're gonna get on this damn. Bottom, I don't like where this is going. Podcast. Yeah, he never likes it. He never likes where I go with these dirty jokes and dirty references. Anyway, um, so I gotta introduce myself. I'm Sepper, aka Radicus, student, streamer, comic nerd, full-time degenerate, and a goddamn bottom dweller. That's what the fuck I am. Now Amen. my friend is gonna introduce himself. I'm Burhan. I'll, I'll go by Bard. Um done with the student life thankfully i'm going to be joining my friend here going to talk about comic books pop culture movies music and the like yeah and so the whole idea is you're going to learn we're not going to inundate you with like oh this is uh, this is all about me this is where i came from no you're, you'll that. probably just learn that as we go along honestly it's better that way it's more fun that way Every lot week, of, hopefully, you learn something new about us. What were you going to say? Yeah, a lot of reactions to what's happening in the news, pop culture, mm. comic books, video games. And I just spilled water. Jesus. Nice. But yeah, that's the idea, right? We cover our daily life, the funny shit that happens to us. Yes. Hopefully, something that's timely in pop culture. And, you know, to wrap it up, we just shoot some opinions about stuff back and forth at the end of the podcast. It could be about anything. Games, food. How do you, what position do you like to sleep in? Whatever. Yes. Anyway, let's get into it, you motherfucker. <laughs> let's get into the to our freaking day to day life. Now, I gotta tell you because I gave a shot at cooking this today. Oh yeah. You know, have you heard of spaghetti aglio olio or aglio olio? You know, have you I haven't. <laughs> no, I thought, yeah, I thought you would have. No, but spaghetti. Listen. El- I know alioli. Well, the whole <laughs> <laughs> alio. Guys, we just finished the stream where we were playing uh, Budokai. Uh, Budokai against each other. We oh, that like was 15, fun. 15 games, he won. <laughs> first, to, first to 15. First to 15. Close, though. It was close. Close. One off. It was 15 to 14. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I he said to me, what did you say? You said... No, you said you were gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. Because, yeah, somebody anonymously gave a subscription yes. to my Twitch channel, which if you want to see more of me we'll link that later anyway so i said i was gobsmacked <laughs> who is that anonymous sub i'm still like gobsmacked at that that was so kind of them isn't that a bad anonymous sub <laughs> no i was gobsmacked <laughs> 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 and if you guys want it, like we what we might do, you'll if you don't see it, then we didn't put it. We'll put a clip, in yeah, the yeah, 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 of like this happening. Yeah, and both of us were howling for ten minutes. Oh my god, howling. Bro. Anyway, so I tried to cook this dish. I'm, I got off topic. Alioli so tried to cook this dish. Yeah, alioli. <laughs> it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. I think that was only my second time making it. I clearly the issue was it was using leftover pasta, so I didn't have pasta water. To bind it together well, oh. it was just leftover starch yes. on the pasta. By the way, you know I'm a chubby fuck, so I, I love food, love to talk about food, love to cook food. Me too, man. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I tried to make that. Anything, any dishes you've been making? I'm gonna pour some water while you tell me. Tried some seaweed salad this weekend. Oh. Didn't turn out as good as I thought. I think I'm using not the right kind of seaweed. It could be. I've uh, seen wakame is what they use in the restaurants. I think wakame. I got something else. Did you season it with like rice wine vinegar and all that good stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drenched it in water for like 20 minutes, but 
it didn't, it didn't do turn it out as it doesn't look like the bright green that you get in the restaurants. Um, yeah, that shit is good, eh? That's oh, it's so good, like, man. That's but a I'm, crack. I'm just thinking it's a different kind of seaweed. It might be. Um, yeah. What was my question? Did you put sesame seeds on it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I followed and then the that's, recipe. Yeah. yeah, that's the right way. But I'm trying to think. Um, I got another pouch though. I got different seaweed this time. I'm gonna good. try that. Mm, I forgot. Oh, was the texture off for you? Was yeah. That what the issue? Oh. It looks dark shit. green. It doesn't look anywhere as good as the restaurant one. Yeah, I'm not yeah. too sure. I've never made that seaweed salad. Yeah. I've always wanted to. I'm I'm trying to recreate that restaurant one so bad. I, whenever I see it in a supermarket, I try my best not to buy it because it's going down. In oh yeah, right. You give it's me that container. Down. It's going down. Yeah. No question. Anything was... else though for food? <sighs> Not for food, but I did go buy a thrift store on the weekend as they're it. opening up again. Oh, they reopened. Fortunately, oh, good old yes. COVID. Ooh, let me interject with something before you get in the thrift store. You're like, these guys, why are they at home? COVID. Yes. So if you're watching this a year later, two years later, this is COVID season, so we're at home. Please be safe. Because Please, yeah. If you're seeing this now, please be safe and shit. Don't be, don't be a dumb dumb. Wear your yeah. mask. It works. We're damn, we're damn. I'm mask, telling you, yeah. firsthand it works. I've been this close to a story. guy with COVID. Yeah. Yeah. At tell my work, <laughs> we because at my work we we're holding stuff, so you're very in very close contact oftentimes. And I was face to face with a guy with COVID, and just because of masks, it didn't it didn't transmit to anyone. We all <sighs> tested negative except for the that guy. Guys, if that the doesn't tell you. To wear a mask, I don't know what does. Dude, after that mask, I was bane. Wearing the mask all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no one cared who I was till I put on the I mask. Put on the mask. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so we were on about. What were we talking about again? This is a classic. This is COVID. What were we talking about? <laughs> we were on about um. What was COVID. It? Seaweed salad. COVID. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're at home. Yes. So we're at home because of COVID. When Absolutely. we get the chance, we'll be in person. Get the get the vaccine dr connor's looking forward to that <laughs> i'm looking forward to it i uh the podcast will be the hope is that it's fun now but i think it'll be even better when we're in, it's gonna be we see each other tremendous it'll be tremendous indeed anyways i think that's enough intro banter let's oh yes thrift what, store, I, thrift what store. I found from the thrift store you're gonna like this i think you will like this i'm looking at the constantine on dvd is there Constantine yeah, movie? the Keanu oh. Reeves one. <laughs> Does it have like all additional like deleted scenes and stuff? It, it says say 18 minutes of additional scenes, including mm -hmm. alternate ending. Ooh. What the fuck? What the I wonder hell? what the alternate ending was. Yeah. They probably cut that shit out because of test screenings or something. You know I can, how they be. I can lend this to you when I'm done with it. It's okay. We'll yeah. figure it out. And... I still have one of your games. I should be giving that back to you. Oh, yeah. Anyway, show me more, baby. More. You're going to like this. Spider-Man 3 on Blu-ray. Oh, oh yeah. we got that. I'm, I'm coming. Yeah, Not sure beautiful. if there's anything special here. It says docu commentary, documentaries, commentaries. <laughs> it's probably Sam Raimi's commentary, right? Yeah, creating Venom, building Sandman. Yeah. You should check that out. That, that whole movie tried to use as much practical effects as they could. Yeah, but... and uh, obviously pretty good quality on Blu-ray. Hell yeah, man. Anything else you get from the thrift store? Pitch Perfect on DVD. Never uh, it's heard a of it. It's a guilty that? pleasure. Okay. Okay, no, I let's don't know just, about that. Let's just stop at that. I'm going to get fine. roasted. I'm sure the people in the comments <laughs> might be like, oh, I know that. Listen, I'm clueless about a lot of shit. You're going to have to excuse me, people. Yeah. I don't... I don't uh, he might bring up some stuff. I'll be like, wait, what? Anyway. It's a guilty pleasure. Oh, that... The, yo, thrift stores are magical. They can oh, have yeah, a man. lot of good comics, a lot of good movies, DVDs, whatever. I see yeah. something cheap, I'm like, yeah, I'll pick that up. A couple bucks. Snag it. I'd buy that right. for a dollar, literally. How much... Oh, you didn't tell me how much were those things. These are man. usually two to three bucks. Fuck, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. To watch... Con I would I would pay three bucks to easily. Like, if I saw Constantine on the shelf for three bucks, I'd buy it. Yeah. I'd buy it. I see sure. Keanu Reeves on the shelf, I'd buy it. That lovely soul three of bucks, a yeah. man. Yeah. All right, let's um, fuck that was good. Let's roll into our topic for the day. Yeah, um, talking about timely. Spider Man, article oh, posted this... here on uh, Geek Tyrant. Did you get go. Did you get a chance to read the article? I um, I read the article, but not from different like um outlets. Oh, from a different source. So I have <laughs> the idea. Yeah, I I have a good feeling of what's going on. Take it away. It's not that exact one, but the whole idea right now is that um. 
it was so okay. How do we prefer people who don't keep up with the MCU? The whole idea is that with the introduction of the multiverse, I think, and the Sony Marvel deal and stuff. I and also we have to consider that Sam Raimi got added to the Doctor Strange movie. Big That's news. A huge deal. Big news. That's huge. Yeah. And I, I, I almost came when I heard the news. <laughs> I was in, I was so much happy. So much happy. Look at that English. I was oh so God. much happy. I was so, somebody clip that. I'm gonna <laughs> shit, bro. Oh my god. I was so much happy. Fuck <laughs> me, dude. Uh look at these eyes. Anyway. Dude, you're bloodshot <sighs> Vin Diesel. Bloodshot with Vin Vin Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the whole idea is that um it seems what Marvel's trying to do, if the reports are true, there's more than just Willem Dafoe. Um but we're going to focus on uh, Willem at the moment because it's in this article that uh, we can share in the links below if you want to read it. Um, anyway, so the whole idea is that because of the multiverse, I think what Marvel wants to do is use the concept of the multiverse and interweave that into Spider-Man 3, which uh, that'll be out, what, next year, I think? Next I December? I think so. Is that supposed or to be after? This December. Sorry, this December. After Doctor after? Strange or before? I think it's before. Before. Think oh, it's before. Set, it sets up Doctor Strange, I think. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, I sure hope so. Yes. Uh, and we're going to see Doctor Strange in Spider-Man 3. So. Yes. Now, this is going to go into... So, there's been discussion. Nothing's confirmed. We heard, we heard about Andrew Garfield. We heard about Alfred Molina. Yeah. We heard about Jamie Foxx's Electro. Toby Maguire. By the way, Molina. Yeah, to Molina was going to play Ock again from Spider-Man 2. Oh, cool, cool. We're going to... I got to talk about Spider-Man 2 later. Yeah. But um, what else do you know? Like, I think I've covered every base. Yeah, obviously, for people who don't know, uh, Willem Dafoe played uh, Green Goblin in the very first... Uh, was it the very first live-action Spider-Man movie? Sam yes. Raimi? Yeah. 2001? Yeah. Two. Two. Yes. Yeah. Great movie. I think it still holds up. I, I saw it, it recently. Up. Yeah, pretty good. A little good. bit cheesy, but I I dig it. I it, love that's cheese. The, that's the charm, man. <laughs> that's the charm. Uh, the campiness. That's the charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it tells a good Peter Parker story. Like, yeah. Really so basically, this third upcoming uh, Tom Holland Spider movie aims to set up aims to have all the previous Spider Men. Yep. Toby and, is Toby. One. Andrew uh, Andrew Garfield. Yep. Yeah, and so here's I heard what even, I mean. if on this article it even said Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, that was it. later, but that's not so confirmed. But that would be cool. That that would so be interesting because MCU already has their version of MJ with Zendaya. I yeah, don't know how do. that's oh, gonna work. Yeah, right. Good catch. That could actually work. Maybe really they're well. like parallel universes. MJs. Uh -huh. These are cool. damn. I just I completely. I'm not used to like the idea that. Zendaya is Mary Jane. Like, she's just called MJ, I think. They kind of teased that. I don't know if it's confirmed or not. I, don't, I think she's currently still called MJ. Somebody can correct me. Yeah. But, um, so here's what I want to ask you. Do you think it's legit? I'll ask you for The rumors? Like these leaks? These leaks. Do you think they're legit? I think they are. Not. I don't know if all of the actors listed here are going to show up, but Marvel leaks are usually... Uh, they usually hold water. I think they even try to leak stuff on purpose. Just to, I agree. Just for hype. Yeah, I think it's legit. Yeah. Now, my other question for you is, do you like the idea? Depends on the execution. It's going to be the same director as the other two movies. I like the yeah. other two movies a fair bit. Haven't I, seen the director. Okay I don't know if you if if he's done other MCU movies, but I haven't seen other movies that... The other two movies weren't too ambitious, let's say, in the, in the grand scheme of MCU. They were very self-contained spider-man movies yeah they were not too ambitious yeah but yeah. fun movies oh, but man. i don't know if oh. this director yeah has proven himself to put, to put together this many characters I'm, i might get roasted to me i think he can do it but it's just what does the script entail for how that my issue with it is that they haven't given peter parker peter parker not spider-man um they haven't given that character enough growth in two movies and that's this is just my critique i'm not going to go too crazy into stuff but all i want from the inclusion of these cameos is that whatever it does 
if it's at the beginning of the movie, I want it to set up an arc for Peter. That's all. Like a good arc that matures him. That's the key word. I just want Peter yeah. to mature. I, it's not that he's it's not that he's completely immature. I'm not saying that. Um, he's made the right choice as shown in Homecoming. Like he threw away the Homecoming to go and deal with uh, Tombs, the Vulture. Yeah. My point is, all I ask, make it mean something uh, and don't let it take away too much from Tom Holland because Tom Holland is great. It's just the writing has been, to me, as a comic fan. It's funny you say that because I've been waiting. I think I've told you this before. I've been waiting for Tom Holland to kind of grow into big boy Spider-Man, but he's still like, uh, uh, Mr. Stark. Too much for it's, me. It's been, how many movies has he been in now? He's been in Infinity so, War, bro. Yeah, like, so he fought he's, Thanos yeah, Civil and War, stuff. Infinity, Endgame, Homecoming. How, how is he still Home. like... Uh, you would uh, think the Thanos thing would mature him. Exactly. I don't know. Anyway. Um, what do you think? Um, so I said that all I wanted it to do was contribute to Peter's narrative. What do you want? I think one concern is crazy thought if all of these actors are confirmed, that would be a bit saturated, in my opinion. I'm not sure if they could... Even if it's one scene? That's got, I mean, let me ask you one that. That's, what, that's the thing. Which one of these are cameos? Which one of these are going to have a more important role? You want, do you have your guess and I'll give you mine as to which one's going to be more? I think the the other two Spider Men are going to be more than the other. I think so too. Yeah. I think that kind of like Spider Verse, the animated one. Yeah, and if they do communicate with each other, the three of them uh, between each other, I think you know I can see it happening. I can see more time being dedicated to the three of them conversing. Yes. That's another. You can also like put out another prediction. Are they going to talk to? Peter, like Tom Holland's Peter, or no? We don't know if they're going to talk. I or think Doctor they should. Strange. That that would be a missed opportunity. I agree. They should. I think Doctor Strange should somehow make that happen. Who knows when something like this would happen again? This seems to be well, a pretty big. Uh, it crossover. could be Doc. It could be that Strange doesn't even make it happen. Like it's just out of control because of. There's a character I don't want to spoil it. So in case people haven't seen the new, uh, Disney Plus show, so I'm going to leave it. Oh, uh, on okay. that, yeah. There's a bit of spoilers there. Okay. But anyway, okay. so that so that's how you and I see it playing out, right? Yes. That's the gist. I think we're on the same page with this. Yeah. Any thoughts though? Any other things you want to add before we roll on? Pretty. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm looking forward to Doctor Strange more just because Sam Raimi is directing it. My man. I, I Captain. <laughs> that's me. But I I'm looking to be pleasantly surprised by Spider-Man Three, and it's gonna have home in the name. I think we'll like it. I get the feeling I'm going to like it the most out of three movies, the trilogy for the MCU. You think so? Yeah. I have a feeling I'll like it the Wh- most. Which one did you like better? Homecoming or I Far liked From Homecoming Home? more. You liked Homecoming more? Um, I like yeah, Far I From Far Home from more. Home. Far From Home to me made some sins for Peter Parker, some bad mistakes. I only like it for just the action was so good. Yeah. I don't want to get off topic. We can definitely critique it later. Yeah. yeah. Um, so... I guess that's those are our thoughts on that. We should probably this is actually a good segue into um, what we think the best comic book movies we've ever seen are. Because you showed me the thrift oh. store stuff. We talked about uh, Defoe a little bit. This feels like a bit of a comic heavy sure. podcast. Let's but go for it. This is a good segue, and I think everybody's watched. Like a lot of people have seen the MCU, so yeah, let's roll. You give me your give me your best comic book movies. Let's I go. I didn't think about this so, but off the top of my head. I have to go with the X-Men movies. Days okay. of Future Past, X-Men 2. Okay. You can't so, rank? No, you can't come up with a rank? I can't come up. It's I two like on the spot. First, first Class was pretty good. First Class was my favorite, yeah. I think. Narrowly. I'm. If I had to pick one, oh, Sushi. <laughs> she's stretching. <laughs> yeah, it's such a cute cat. Look at her. Aww. Oh, uh, Lord, she's stretching. Oh, anyway. Lord, she's stretching. If I had to pick one, I'd say Days of Future Past. As your favorite out of any comic, off the top of my head, yeah, oh, that's fair. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh, Days of Future Past. It's such a good movie that even the writer, like Chris Claremont, he was like that movie did the most justice to what I wrote. Mm. Like Chris Claremont was like thumbs up. He loved it. Nice. So that's cool. If you guys don't know who Chris Claremont is, acclaimed writer uh, of the X Men, he pulled them out of a bad hole they were in, not too popular. Chris Claremont brought the X-Men up 
and uh, a lot of storylines that you might be familiar with and that are adapted into those movies. You can thank Chris a lot for those ones. He's a great writer. Another he thing wrote... that sorry, another thing that comes to mind before you say yours is obviously Dark Knight. I f I f I don't think of it in the same way as I think of other comic book movies. I feel Go like ahead. that's more Nolan's uh, gritty, realistic interpretation of. <sighs> I still uh, consider it a lore. comic book movie. Of but, course, yeah, but it's so different. It seems different. It's. I agree with you. That's a good notion to yeah have about it. Is that it's it's just it's a different beast entirely, yeah. um, and Nolan's humor is very subtle. It is. It is. It, like, he has a British humor. Yeah, yeah, and it's. You're right. It might be British humor. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure because I don't. I'm not too familiar. It's with more British clever. Humor. It's more snarky. More. Uh, yeah. I, reactive. I, moments, I chuckled throughout his. Yeah, movies, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I. Yeah, that's a whole different beast. So. Shit. Yeah, Dark Knight is on my list. Like, if I had to name movies for you, and I'll just rattle them off. Sure. Uh, Let's see what you got. Here's my favorite ones that I've seen. So, um, X2, mm -hmm. um, X-Men United, I think was the full name. Did you know David Hayter, the guy who plays Snake, he helped write that movie? No X2? way. I did not know. Uh, I did not even crazy. know that he wrote. He had a writing credit. Wow. Yeah. David crazy Hader. shit. Uh, First Class. Yep. Solid. Days of Future Past. Cause I'm just going with the X-Men ones. Okay. Um, Spider-Man 2. Yep. Dark Knight. Yep. Um, Winter Soldier, Captain America, the Winter Still Soldier. Still haven't seen that. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, I won't talk about I, it. I was going to say that movie. none of us have brought up a MCU movie yet. Yeah, we focused on everything but that, yeah. which kind of might show you how we view the MCU. Even though I'm a comic <laughs> fan and I'm a Marvel fan, like I, I, I read more Marvel comics. I got proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. I can see from your background. Oh, shit. He's right. <laughs> He's completely right. Shit. But yeah. We said I said Winter Soldier, yeah. Guardians One, Guardians One. Oh, that's a good. Have one. you seen it? That's a good one. Yeah, I've seen both. It's, yeah, Guardians movies. Those two have the best. Like, um, do you notice that one was Guardians, way better than two? I it was. Say. But do you notice that the Guardians movies have better like color saturation and they, stuff? They they do make pretty good use of color compared to other MCU entries where it's kind of bland. Yeah, they James Gunn really makes it pop more oh, yeah. than those movies. So anyway. And his cinematography in those movies, I felt, was better than... The Good use Knight. of um, purple and green, too. Not not conventional colors, but even in the character design. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And um, what else do we think? Uh, Guardians 1. Guardians one. Captain I like Guardians Captain. 2 as well. That's unpopular. I was a big fan of Guardians 2. There's a good theme there. Mm -hmm. um, MCU? Oh, Iron Man 1. Still haven't uh, seen that. <laughs> Avengers, Avengers one that might be unpopular. Avengers one. Yeah, I, I think I did not finish that movie. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah. But when I saw it the first time, I'm like, damn, this is a fucking fun movie. I remember seeing it in theaters. Uh, May of. I can see the novelty at the time because that was like the first big oh. team up movie. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, so definitely. Yeah. I said that. I said Spider Man two. I mean, fuck. I would like to... Keanu Sam Reeves, Raimi's... Constantine? Sir what? Keanu no Reeves, Constantine? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Come on, man. Look, look, at the, look at that mug. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it looks like a cool cover, though. It is. All right. Um, what else? I can't think of any more. That's off the top of my head. Okay. I'm sure there's more, and I'm missing it. Please don't roast me. Oh! <laughs> The Judge Dredd movie from 2012. That's a good oh, one. Oh, the one with the... Uh, Carl Urban. Carl Urban. We Dude, I have that. that. That's I, a good movie. I have to see that. Watch it. Trust me. It's just called Dredd. It. Yo, even the Judge Dredd fans are like, bro, this is not oh, bad. Oh, bro, I, I gotta watch that. And I'm not a big Judge Dredd fan, so I didn't know as much, but... It's on Netflix if that. you guys want to watch it, but watch I think that. I have it on Blu-ray. I would like to ask you about the best like comic book shows you've seen, but that I don't think you've seen too many of them. No, let's but let's talk about it anyway. I've seen. Do you seen... want me to give you some suggestions or what? What do you think? Let me get mine out of the way because it's gonna be quick. I've Go seen part of Gotham. Okay, I've never seen Gotham. It's okay. I think but I've it... heard I've heard good things actually. It picks up like it gets good. Yeah, yeah. 
I can see the setup. It's trying to give backstory to all the Batman villains. Yeah. Um, I think that might be it. Mm. Maybe if you I, name some, I might remember seeing. I'll give you some them. suggestions. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll just shoot it off. At the top of my list, Daredevil season one. Okay. Top. We've seen the boys. Oh yeah, that counts. Yeah, it boys counts. season one. There you go. That's my favorite. Season one is dope. It's yeah. better than season two. Way better. Way better. Uh it had more of a sense of urgency and, and like yes. fear. Like I was tense throughout season oh, one. Oh yes. Anyway, um Daredevil season one. Jessica Jones season one is heard good heard good things about that. Really good. Uh Arrow. He's nothing like the comic version of Oliver Queen. Mm. But Arrow season one and two, solid. That's DC, right? DC side. Okay. Yeah. CW network. Uh I haven't watched all of Flash season one, but it's shaping up to be like it's on par with the Arrow stuff. So you know, you know what's funny? Every list I see for uh, superhero TV shows, Flash is usually number one. Flash is good. Yeah. Flash season one so far, wherever I am, it's good. Um, and so we said Arrow, we said Flash, Jessica Boys. Jones, the boys. We said that's my uh, favorite. Currently, Falcon and Winter Soldier is high, like it's coming up to be like on that tier. Yeah, really good. Thankfully, um, I won't spoil because this move, this show is coming out as we speak. Uh, and if, by the way, if anything comes up, you throw it out. Like, let me know what other shows come up to your mind. Um, but I said Daredevil, and then Punisher. That's personal choice. I enjoyed Punisher. Uh, Punisher season one. Punisher season two is. <laughs> eh, eh. And it's kind of weird, too, because these shows got caught in the crossfire between Netflix and Disney+. Plus. I think that affected the production and COVID, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those Netflix shows felt like they were dialing it in at the Mm. end with the Marvel stuff. Ooh, The Tick. Oh. The Tick. The Amazon one is good. The Tick. And (laughs) the Fox one from, like, 01, 2001. Oh, yeah. Both are good. Watch them. I'll look into that. And their episodes are 30 minutes, the Amazon ones. I like quick. that. I like that. Yeah. Dude, quick every episode. show is like one hour episodes these days. Well, WandaVision, when it was coming out, was 30 minute ones. So. Oh, okay. What did I... you think of WandaVision? I haven't <laughs> seen it. I don't think I enjoyed it as much as other people did. People I... People say they don't like the ending. I don't like the ending either. Oh, so you, you finished it though? It's not enough, is what I'm saying. I think the issue is... They really effed with us, like the actors and the script and whatever they put forth. It really effed with me because they, it was too many expectations yeah. and then not enough delivery. Okay. That, that's my opinion. I see, so, I see. It kind of built up but didn't go anywhere type of thing. It got the characters beautiful, beautifully. Yeah. They did a great job. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much. It nailed the characters. Because if I say more, I feel like I'm going to spoil. So Nailed the characters too many expectations and I'll say that the beginning part was more creative the beginning part of the show yeah that's what I heard too less creative as it went on in terms of cinematography how things are shot the coloring that's my take you can roast me I don't care I don't think that's an unpopular take from all the people I know that have watched that show that's what I heard so those are my movies so and shows dope uh you got anything else before we wrap this thing up i got nothing man that's it (laughs) the boys was not coming to my mind for some reason again it's so different from what you think is a superhero show it does yeah Yeah. so um to wrap us up do you want to talk about like what we're thinking about for our schedule schedule just trying to try to aim for once a week i guess yeah We'll aim it for once a week, and when we settle on a day of the week, we want to stick to it. Yes. And that's it. I mean, uh, whoever watches this first episode, the hope is, the intention is, that uh, we intend on this growing, and if you're here from the get-go, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I don't know if you're doing dishes or cleaning the house, but... uh, Thank you for sticking in, tuning in. Any other things before we uh, head out? Let's wrap it up. All right, guys. Love you. Stay safe. 
take care if you're this is in COVID and uh, we will catch you all next week bye see you guys peace